In the midst of holiday cheer and family gatherings, the quiet suburb of Covina, California, became the scene of one of the most shocking crimes in recent memory. On Christmas Eve, 2008, Bruce Jeffrey Pardo executed a plan of unimaginable horror that would shatter the peace of a festive night. Our exploration delves into the chilling details of this tragic event, piecing together the actions and motives of a man who turned a season of joy into one of profound tragedy. Bruce Pardo, once seen as a mild-mannered and unassuming figure, unleashed violence with a cold and calculated mindset. Dressed in a Santa Claus suit, he arrived at his former in-law's annual Christmas Eve party. Armed with a homemade flamethrower, several handguns, and a cruel intention, Pardo embarked on a killing spree that would leave nine people dead and shock a nation. The night that Bruce Pardo donned a Santa suit and embarked on his murderous rampage, he carried not only weapons, but also a deep-seated vengeance. His targets were the family of his ex-wife, with whom he had endured a bitter and contentious divorce. The divorce had culminated in a settlement where Pardo was left financially strained and emotionally embittered. This festering resentment appears to have been the catalyst for the meticulously planned attack. Pardo, who was once a part of these annual festive gatherings, turned the event into a scene of chaos and despair. He arrived at the party armed and without a word, began shooting his actions reflecting a chilling disconnect from the warmth and love that once surrounded him in that very house. His demeanor, as recounted by the few who survived, was methodically calm, underscoring a level of detachment that made the events even more terrifying. Survivors of the massacre recounted the initial disbelief and confusion that quickly turned into a fight for survival. The sounds of gunfire mingled with the screams of the victims, creating a nightmarish atmosphere. As Pardo continued his rampage, the horror escalated with the realization that this was no random act of violence, but a targeted attack. The partygoers, who had once welcomed Pardo into their home, were now victims of his unbridled rage. The tragedy was compounded by the fact that the house was filled not just with family members, but also with friends and children, all gathered to celebrate a time of joy and togetherness. The first responders on the scene were met with a tableau of horror. The festive decorations and lights of the house were overshadowed by the carnage within. For law enforcement and emergency personnel, the challenge was not only to apprehend the perpetrator, but also to provide aid to the survivors and to make sense of the chaos. The investigation into the massacre revealed the extent of Pardo's planning. He had not only armed himself with firearms, but had also constructed a homemade flamethrower, which he used to set the house ablaze, adding a final act of destruction to his violent spree. In the aftermath of the fire, forensic teams faced the grim task of identifying the victims. The intensity of the blaze, fueled by Pardo's flamethrower, rendered this process painstaking and heart-wrenching. Amidst the ashes and debris, personal items and remnants of Christmas gifts served as poignant reminders of the lives brutally cut short. The forensic examination provided critical insights into the sequence of events and Pardo's methods piecing together a timeline of the tragedy that unfolded on that fateful Christmas Eve. The impact of Pardo's actions reverberated far beyond Covina. Across the nation, people were left struggling to comprehend how a time of joy could turn so dark. The incident prompted discussions on mental health, domestic issues, and the need for better support systems to prevent such tragedies. Bruce Jeffrey Pardo's Christmas Eve Massacre remains a harrowing reminder of the fragility of life and the depths to which personal turmoil can plunge. As we conclude our in-depth look at this tragic event, we reflect on the importance of compassion and vigilance in our communities. If this exploration of one of the darkest Christmas stories has moved you, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that delves into the complex tapestry of human behavior and its impact on society.